So one crucial thing that I have not yet spoken about is how to cite references and how to create a bibliography or a list of references. While LibreOffice 7 has some bibliography tools, I strongly recommend that we work with open source program called as Zotero. So let me tell you a little bit about Zotero. So you can download Zotero from zotero.org. I've included a link uh, in the description of this video. And uh, as the description goes, it is a free, easy to use tool to help you collect, organize, cite and share research. Zotero is open source. So after you have downloaded it, you can also install a extension for Chrome and other browsers. And what it permits you to do is that if you come across anything interesting on the internet, you can capture it straight from the browser and it will come and land up inside Zotero properly cited and all the fields properly filled. So when you have a collection of references, you can also connect Zotero with a word processing program like Microsoft Word for LibreOffice Writer. You have to download Java Runtime Environment. Again, this is a one-time activity. So you can download Java Runtime Environment for Windows or other operating systems. And I am including the link of uh, the download, JRE download, in the description of this video. So once you have downloaded, you can just simply install it and you are good to go with Zotero. You can then keep citing references with Zotero. This is not meant to be a tutorial for Zotero. You can look up how you can use Zotero. But then once you have installed Zotero and you have references and you have also downloaded Java Runtime Environment and installed it, you can then connect LibreOffice Writer with Zotero and then you can cite references directly from Zotero and create a bibliography. It's very easy to do, but it just needs a small one-time setup. So after you have installed Zotero, start Zotero. And you must have also installed Java Runtime Environment after downloading it. So to connect it to LibreOffice, you can just simply come to Tools and then go to Options and then open up LibreOffice. So it opens up here. And you can then just click on Advanced. And the moment you click on Advanced, after you have installed Java Runtime Environment, you are going to see this. And you can just simply come here and click on this checkbox to ensure that this is engaged. And that's just about it. So you can just press OK and you are good to go. So I have my Zotero running here and I have a few references that I have captured from the web, also from Google Scholar. So I want to cite some of these references in my document. So what I'm going to do is to come to extension and after Zotero is connected to LibreOffice 7, you will start seeing these items here on the extension menu. So if I want to add a reference at some point, let's say here, I will just simply come to that particular point and add citation. So when I do that, um, the first thing it tries to do is to ask me a question and it says, what is the reference or citation style that you would like to use? So I'm going to come here and just simply press OK. If this window is not visible, just click on Zotero and you will see that this window becomes visible. You can click on it and bring it in the front. So I'm happy with APA 7th edition to start with. I can always change it later on. So I'm just going to go and say OK. And then what happens is that it will just simply open up Zotero. So I will just click on this, click on Classic View. I have my references right here. So I'm going to pick up one and press OK. So it adds that reference into the text. And then I can space it if I wanted to. And so on and so forth. So let me say if I was just going and I wanted to cite another reference. So I can come at this place and then once again go to extension, add cite reference, then come and open Zotero and then just click on the reference that I wanted to cite. Let me say this one or this one, and then I'll just come and click this and the reference will get cited. Let's cite one more reference and let's say I wanted to cite something here. So I'm just gonna click this and repeat this process one more time and then come here and press okay. So another reference has been cited. 
So once I'm done citing my references, this is actually, I'm actually showing this in reverse order. But when you are typing, you keep citing references. So this is the way you keep adding your references. You never have to type your references directly because then you will have the task of creating the bibliography yourself. And that is a, a lot of work. So once you are done with this and you are at this stage of creating a bibliography, you can come to the last page and create a fresh page for yourself by pressing Control Enter. And then you can just say References. If you want to include this in the table of contents, then it will be best if you can give it heading one. So I'm going to do that. And I'm not really interested in the number, so I will just remove it. I just want the style heading one here. And then I'll come here. And then to create the bibliography, I'll just go to extension and press this button, add edit bibliography. So I will immediately have my bibliography in APA citation style. If I wanted to change this citation style, I can just simply come here and click on set document preferences. And I can change the style to something different. Say, for example, if I wanted to do IEEE, I can just click here and press OK and the references will change. They are alphabetically listed and the references will change to IEEE citation style. If I want to revert back, I can just come back here and go back to my APA 7th edition and press OK again. So the references will again be changed into something else or the citation style that you really want. So this is a really great tool and you must always cite references in such a manner rather than typing them directly. Finally, uh, before you close the document and when everything is ready, the thing to remember is that because you might have after inserting table of contents included something like myself, I have included references, but they are not reflecting here. So just before you are wanting to print or if you are wanting to create a final PDF out of this document, you need to come to the table of contents and then just simply update it. So any changes that you have done, pages moved, etc., can just come here and you will see that any changes that you have made after you inserted this are actually now included in the table of contents. So likewise for table of figures. So if any changes were made, you can just update it. They would be reflected here. Likewise for table of tables. If any changes were made, they would get reflected here. So once you are done with this, you can just simply go ahead and file and you can go and export as PDF or you can also export as EPUB. So one of the great advantages of uh, LibreOffice Writer is that it permits you a direct export to EPUB. And one of the good things about EPUB is that it permits you to read the content on mobile phones very easily. The content flows on the mobile phone screen. Pages are uh, reordered, renumbered to fit the size of the screen. And uh, you can read it, increase the font and so on and so forth. PDFs are difficult to read on mobile phones. So you can directly export to either as either a PDF or you can also export to EPUB. And just to mention that these links will be clickable. They are clickable inside LibreOffice Writer also. But to reach a particular page, you have to press Control. The mouse pointer changes to a hand or a finger and you can click and reach that particular page. So when you are actually exporting it as a PDF, these links will remain clickable. So this is how you can create a nicely formatted documents. If you can practice these skills, it will be wonderful and you will never have a problem in creating reports. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you.